Okay, so about a few minutes ago, I got a notification, like, um, telling me why the, um, the YouTube dislike button was removed, and I'm gonna read it to you guys why. Okay, so it says, when did YouTube announce the removal of the dislike button? On the 30th, on 30th. On the 30th of March, 2021, YouTube announced that they were going to alter the dislike button on their platform. After the announcement was made on Twitter, it instantly received a ton of criticism. The reason behind YouTube removing the dislike button was the feedback they got on targeted dislike campaigns from creators. They also emphasized that they are not going to entirely remove the dislike button. Instead, they were experimenting with hiding the account so that only the creator can see the numbers, number of users who have disliked their video. After the platform, after the platform made the announcement on Twitter, Matt Coble, YouTube creator Legion, shared a video where he explained why YouTube made this decision. He added that through this step, they hope to help its content creators. He went on to say that there are groups <coughs> of users on the platform who target the dislike button to increase its count for these users. This is like a game that has a visible scoreboard for everyone to see. In most cases, it is because they don't like the creator and what they stand for. <clears throat> According to Koval, this was in direct violation of YouTube's mission to give everyone a voice. And ironically, the video received more dislikes than likes. And even though there might be, there might have been some who just wanted to increase their the dislike count for some it was to explain that they don't think that it is a good plan when did the experiment begin in order to decide on whether or not they could change the dislike button youtube conducted an experiment in july 2021 the google owned platform gave gave access to the dislike button to the viewers but hit the number as a result there was a dis decrease in dislike attack King behavior. They also mentioned that the platform heard from small creators <clears throat> directly, ones who were just getting started on the platform and were targeted unfairly by their behavior. Because of this, they were able to confirm that smaller channels are the ones most affected by the dislike button. Before this, the creator had the option to turn their dislikes, their likes and dislike button. However, turn. Wait, however, there, this also meant uh, that they were, weren't were able to benefit from engagement. Why did YouTube decide to conduct this experiment? According to the platform, the public dislike button on YouTube can affect the well-being of the creator and motivate viewers to participate in targeted campaigns of adding dislikes to videos. Even though this is true, it is important to note that dislike acts as a signal to viewers when videos are misleading spam or clickbait. YouTube also mentioned that smaller creators and creators who had just started on the platform reached reach out to them about the unfair dislike attacks on their channel. This was proven to be true by the experiment. Even though YouTube didn't share specific details regarding the collected data, through the experiment, it did say that they ran the test for several months and conducted an in-depth and though and thorough analysis on the impact of the dislike button. They wanted to understand how the changes will affect the creator and the viewers. During the experiment, they worked on creating different designs to remove the dislike button. One of these was where, instead of the number of dislikes, the dislike word appeared under the thumbs down button. This is the one that they eventually chose to implement on the platform. The new design is believed to be a less disruptive change to the engagement button roll under the video. What, what could have been alternate native? 
What could have been the alternative? In 2019, Tom Lu... I'll probably butcher his name, but my bad. Then... The, then YouTube's director up. Then YouTube's director of project management talked about how removing dislikes wasn't democratic, as not every dislike is a part of a campaign. Instead, he recommended adding granularity granularity to the, to downvotes by adding a checkbox where the viewer could answer why they didn't like the video. However, this would have this would have been more complicated to build. YouTube abandoned any of such efforts and chose to go with the easy route of hiding the dislike count. Some believe this is just YouTube's way of taking a shortcut and avoiding tackling bigger issues on the platform, like radicalization, animal abuse, extortion child predators and more so that's pretty much it like I know there's a whole bunch down here but um it's basically the same thing so um yeah so yeah I didn't just go to this thing it's like it randomly just popped up so it's like I clicked on the notification and I started to read it out I just want to, I just want, like, if you guys were wondering too, and then for, like, going to look it up, because it's been removed for a whole year now, so, um, yeah. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share, and also, I'm working on an intro. Just to get that clear, I'm working on an intro. It might not be much, but I'm definitely working on an intro right now. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and turn the the notifications on all and yes it sounds like I'm tired because I th I literally just woke up so um yeah so you guys can know when I post you know turn it on all uh, uh yeah like I said like subscribe you know comment some more ideas that I should do um like cause um uh I don't want to keep doing the same video over and over unless that's what y'all like. So if y'all want me, or if y'all want me to switch it up, then I'll switch it up. If y'all don't want me to switch it up, then I, then I won't switch it up. I mean, I'm gonna switch it up from time to time anyway. But like, just give me some ideas, cause it's like you know, like, cause I go back and watch my YouTube videos too, like, cause I know some YouTubers they'll like some big YouTubers or whatever, they'll upload a video and never watch it again. Um, but I go back and thoroughly watch my stuff. And as soon as somebody makes, a, I have my notifications on, so whenever somebody comments, I'm right there, like in a snap, right there. So um yeah, like I said, I just woke, I, I just woke up, so um I don't have too much energy right now. But anyway, guys, hope hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys probably later or tomorrow, and if or in a few days, I'll I'll be back later. Let's just put it like that. Yeah, I'll be back later. Cause last time I posted was like two days ago maybe one or two days ago well today's the 19th so i posted on um wednesday night last time i posted so i'll get back to you guys um later today but yeah